a few horses who are big favorites. Don Martillo, this is the winner of the qualifying round. And he's being presented here by Anne Christine Wienkamp from Germany. They took the first qualification on Thursday with tens, tens for trot and for walk. 9.2 for canter, 9.8 for submission. 9.8 for perspective an average of 9.76 and a, quite a margin with the number two and he's still to come as well so this is not over yet this is uh, Don Martello one of two offspring of Don Juan de Hus or Don Juan as he's named now Bred out of a den by Benetton Dream, who is a Grand Prix competitor himself. And the den line goes on with uh, Vakant and Macho. Don Martello was uh, the winner of the Stallion Test in Germany and has a track record in the German young horse competitions so it was not a very big surprise that he took first position this Don Martello but now he has to maintain the huge demands and the high standards that he himself set in the first round 9.76 and she has to do it all over again on Christine Wienkamp Maybe not as spectacular as Ferrari, the previous horse. But this is a very good presentation with harmony, with a constant, constant contact. Beautiful outline. Now look at the silhouette of the horse on the circle. This is a five-year-old horse. Normally, you, would, you wouldn't expect a five-year-old horse to perform circles like he does, Don Martillo. This beautiful black son of Don Juan Luz. There must be an enormous pressure on the shoulders of this young German rider, on Christine Wienkamp. And this was the second 10 in the qualifying round, the walk. And isn't it fantastic? Completely through the body, yet in the perfect full beat and how about the collected strides only a few of them but it looked good again a masterpiece of riding we've seen a few like um, Dorothee Schneider But this is also very good riding.
very relaxed, very secure. And truly harmonious. She had done it on Thursday, but it is quite something else to do it again. In a full stadium with the world title at stake. This is an obedient horse with the rider. Fantastic simple change. Now how about the transition? Now this is perfect. This is truly the perfection of uh, educating and um, training a young dressage horse. And the epitome of uh, communication and harmony between rider and horse. I thoroughly enjoyed the presentation of Don Martello by Anne Christine Wienkamp. Ferrari is in the lead, 9.2. I'm very excited to hear the commentary of the judges by spokesperson Christoph Hess. Three at this moment. Don Martillo and Anne-Christine Wienkamp, Mr. Hess. Ladies and gentlemen, judges and high marks, this is often a problem. Judges love to give 6.5, but when we see tests like this, then they have to uh, give the opposite of a 6, they have to give many 9s. And therefore we were discussing how many 9s, sorry that we needed some seconds to discuss this seriously. But at the end, I think we came to a good result and um, I think Don Martello and Anne Christine Wienkamp is a dream team, a dream team, and the sun starts to shine. It's really amazing what we just see the last five minutes. A big applause for this wonderful horse and rider combination. And ladies and gentlemen, we could see that uh, the best judges are sitting in the grandstand. You are judging in a very good way. Andreas, a little bit lower than we had seen him, but all other riders you had judged nearly in the similar way as we. What do you think, what was the best gait of the day? The walk, thank you. It was exactly what we had seen as well. And what would you give? Thank you very much indeed. This was exactly the mark of the judges. Next year, Frank, we don't need judges in the judges box, just the, the spectators. 10.0 for the walk. That's a walk we want to see. And then we were discussing uh, Ferrari, Andreas Hextrand, and Don Martillo, who was better in the trot. We thought that Ferrari was very expressive, more expressive maybe, with a small minus, uh, it was a little bit hurried in the medium trot. Here it was not as expressive, but it was relaxed and it was a true medium trot and she was able to produce all the different paces working, um, medium and collector trot. Therefore both horses 9.7 in the trot.
And then the canter, the similar mark as the trot 9.7. Uh, because she was able to produce the canter. Have a look to the screen, then you can see it. And especially on the uh, right hand counter canter, she was able to ride the horse a little bit more um, with a good suppleness and had the horse a little bit better under her control than Andreas. But it's very small. Andreas 9.5, she 9.7. Also, therefore, the third mark is 9.7. The mark for the submission is a little bit higher because this horse seems to be a very rideable horse, trained 100% in the right direction, looks very, very happy. Submission 9.5 and the prospect of the horse 9.7 in the lead so far. Congratulations. A test on a very, very high level a 10.0, um, yeah, I would say test if I would give one mark because this is what we want to see. Happy horse, happy rider, and that's it. And we have and a new that leader, 9.76, exactly the same score as on Thursday in the qualifying round. 9.76 and truly deserved. Wonderful test, wonderful riding by Anne Christine Winkamp and her top horse Don Martillo. This is not a uh, competition that should determine the best horse, but the best ride should win. And this was the best ride so far.